four, fourth, five, fifth, six, sixth, two, tooth. Hello trainers, Gan Neto here and today we're diving into the meta of Holiday Cup and let's see together some really nice teams for you to use. Before we do though, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel because we're having quite the subscribers on this channel and we're super close to reaching the 1100 subscribers so thank you for the trainers and now Awesome Zen will help us in the battles and let's see the first recommended team. Uh, it is gonna be a steady team. Uh, you know my team style names and we're just gonna lead with Altaria which has a ton of coverages out there and resistances to the, due to the fact that it is part dragon and fairy typing is not gonna be one that it is gonna stay around a lot of course you have to worry about those ice types and this little fair over here the graveler because it has access to the amazing rock moveset however our graveler falls down super easy but still okay because Alon graveler is a very good pokemon and we we might not have the chance to showcase it from our side of the team, but our opponent will do it just as fine. Uh, so you can see that our Graveler is having access to Volt Switch, Rock Blast and Stone Edge, a really huge moveset that can go pretty hard on any opponent and you can still get kinda gold but you can counter attack with your stone edge no matter what that pokemon is of course you have a pure goal like a stun fisk and you can do anything about that but still stone edge will do a lot of damage so that if you are in a very close match you might have the upper hand in the end with stone edge who knows so altaria is gonna be the lead that we said and you can see that you can go pretty well on that with that sky attack taking two shields from the opponent's altaria and we're just gonna have fair thorn <coughs> at the back which has access to flash cannon not thunder because i recommend flash cannon to the fact that frostlass is gonna be meta and look at that flash cannon and boom down goes the entire hp from frostlass and this is gonna be a pokemon that you are gonna need a lot so i decided to block this and you can see that furthron really can handle not only the ice types but a lot graveler as well uh, making a very nice fit for this team protecting the altaria pretty much much good. Uh, this team also benefits from the fact that fighting types will not be around so you can take uh, a note on that and you can use more fragile Pokemon like our Graveler into the meta. So next one we're gonna showcase a Navy B team. This one is gonna be led by the Stanfix, the Unova form because the Galarian is not gonna be allowed on this cap and we're gonna have Frostlass and Alola Sanslas. Let's talk a bit about Frostlass. Uh, I decided to use Crunch on my Frostlass because of the fact that the Shadow Ball is not gonna be needed a lot. Uh, you can still hit hard with your Avalanche and Pokemon like Dark types will not be around that much so that's why Frostlass will not only get up there but you're not gonna need that uh, Shadow Ball for whatever reasons anyways. So let's go with the Crunch and let's debuff our opponent if that's possible and you can still go pretty well and pretty much better we can say against the matchup with the Alola Marowak. Uh, of course down we go but at what cost our opponent lost a shield and that's the sole purpose that Frostlass exists for this team because it is not the closer just an aggressive swap Pokemon that can take shields with its amazing energy gain. Uh, so with the, the shield advantage I decide to let my uh, Unova Stunfisk right here fall but my opponent decided to go for the Bone Club and you can see that Stunfisk has a really nice bug, it has a really nice neutral uh, coverage against the meta and you can have a very nice uh, coverage of course against any team so we have the Alona Sanslas as our closing as our closing pokemon and that is gonna be super good because uh, it has access to the Bulldoze, this team performs really well against the Rock type Pokemon, against Flyers and of course against any Grass type with a backline but you can see here that against Altaria this team is just gonna rock and roll with its Ice, with its ice moveset. Here comes the Sky Attack, we can even tank that because uh, Alona Sunslash is just gonna be a huge beast especially when Fire and Fightings are not gonna be allowed. So next one everyone, we're gonna introduce to you the Press time style team style time style the pressure team style i'm doctor who huh. time you know time lords anyways i'm a fan 
just skip that. Uh, le next up, we have the team style pressure. So we're gonna lead with our Town of Flame, another flying type Pokemon. And this time, we're just gonna go ahead and aggressive swap to our Dugong. Dugong is one of the Pokemon that are just gonna be in there for your opponent to give them trouble. Because even if they bring like a pseudo fighter like this, uh, you can still go pretty well against them with your Icy Wind. Look at that. Here comes the Body Slam, and we can still pressure for another Icy Wing and most probably take a shield over here. Uh, Dugong is one Pokemon that afra is afraid of nothing in the current meta and also has the ability to bait out the fighter that the opponent might have like this Vigoroth and still protect your Obstagoon from any other threats. Uh, of course on this uh, hypothetical scenario we have uh, the Talon Flame that can just come in and just farm down with its amazing incinerate which can get really out of hand if your opponent uh, misses just just one in the countdown or something like that, they miscount or anything and they're just gonna be in a tough position after two or three flame charges so you can just go ahead take shields over here as you can see and then farm down with your vamped up uh, Talon Flame and finish off with uh, Brave Bird, why not? So here comes now another one set to double shield my Talon Flame and that's one thing that you should focus on when using Talon Flame. Of course we have obstacle at the back which uh, will not get a chance to sign for this uh, match but you have a nice coverage for whatever else they might have at the back and you can see here that against the Lapras you can just trade it apart with pure counters and this team might struggle against rock type so keep that in mind next up we have a spammy team and this is gonna be led by the counter body slam spammer uh, Vigoroth, also we're gonna have the Volt Switcher uh, Galvantula which has access to loans and Discharge, a really nice uh, spammy combo and of course we have the Snarl version of Mandipaz which is another Snarl version uh, of a Pokemon for you to use out there and in combination with the other two you can see that we have a really spammy team so we can just farm down at the 50% of HP from that uh, Marowak and store up 200 energy for whatever they have at the back we do not care at all, we're just gonna go all in, even if they have something that really can counter us down. Uh, also Vigoroth can draw some shields which is really good for you and you can just play around that if you have the uh, upper hand because then Calvantula can just... Uh, go as a safe swap or a debuffer to finish off your opponent and why not as a closer as well when you have the upper hand with your shields. So I decided to let my Vigoroth here to suck swap a move. Uh, I was counting the moves and they were over farming so it was like they have to throw, they have to throw, they have to throw and they threw which is uh, just fine. And Mandibuzz lets uh, Mandibuzz's bulk as you can see here lets it uh, perform as a closer as well so if your safe swap debuffer Galvantula falls down really easy, you can still rely on your Mandibus to close off any match. So here we're just gonna fall to the Altaria uh, and hopefully our opponent does not have any rock type. This team may struggle against the rock type. Uh, yeah, uh, Awesome Zen really beat me uh, with his uh, Alola Graveler a couple of times when using this team, but I finally beat him back and I knew that uh, Alola Graveler was a weakness for my team because Vigoroth can handle the, the Graveler, but not that much you still have to use shields and if Graveler cannot be handled like this well you are gonna be in a super tough position since uh, the backline cannot handle it at all and fast attacks will not be enough to finish it off so you have to rely on your charged attacks and yeah Graveler really charges up super fast so next one and we're facing uh, a Mandibus up in the lead and this is gonna be a pressure team style uh, because of the fact that uh, we have a ton of resistances on the Skarmory uh, much more than the Altaria and you can go pretty hard on your opponent with the spammy movesets and super good damage from the Charmor Powder Snow from Alandine Tails and the Shadow Claw Seed Bomb Shadow Ball moveset from the Trevenant which is the newest addition to the um, current meta of the Holiday Cup and you're gonna see that it is gonna shake it up quite a bit. A lot of uh, teams are gonna be built around that Pokemon not only to protect it but also to counter it down and you might see some really nice flyers for you out there and you can see that this is another flying team and one thing that I enjoy when making videos like this is that I uh, actually find some really good counter picks for my teams and for the current meta as well so the Dean might be a Pokemon for you to consider up in the lead because it can pretty it can take 
down pretty much the entire flying section. Uh, so uh, we're having here the Lapras coming in and I'm like, you know what, let's uh, put the charm at the back for a moment. Let's bench it and let's focus on the Trevenant. So here comes now the Seed Bomb. They're just gonna block, which is awesome. And you can see how much damage a Seed Bomb might do. So here comes a move. I was pretty sure that it was gonna be an Ice Beam. That was at the 6th uh, ISR. That was pretty obvious. So here comes now uh, the Seed Bomb. We missed a bubble there, so we cannot finish it off. And it does a lot of damage, no matter what. So here comes now a move. Down we go. But we have the Charmer that can go... Uh, right into the fight and destroy our opponent. Charm down, this is it. Yeah, you know how good that this will be, especially against the Mandibus. And this team has a huge fire problem. Uh, this is not gonna be good against any Taloflame, against any Typhlosion, who knows, or even Alola Marowak that has access to Fire Spin and can just uh, obliterate this team. So, that's all, trainers. What do you think? What are your thoughts? Uh, do you think that uh, videos like this were your, your interest? show it down below in the comment section or even subscribe to the channel because it really really helps leave a like because it also helps this video spread our spread spread its way around the algorithm and i really thank you for the support that you show to this channel all those uh years yeah it's about two years so far so thank you everyone for joining write down in the comments your thoughts about these teams about the current meta holiday cup what are your plans to achieve success in this current season and i hope to see you all into the next one take care everyone